Welcome grade 4E and 4EE to another lesson of Natural Science and Technology. Let's quickly go through the disclaimer again. The work to be done during this PowerPoint and video presentation covers the work for NF and Tech for grade 4, term 1. This presentation is proudly brought to you by Ma'am Heidi Labaskahni. Today we are going to discuss living things. Living things. There are so many different kinds of living things. Some living things are big, such as an elephant. Other living things are so small we cannot see them with the naked eye, such as germs. Furthermore, we get all other animals, which are still living things, and so are different types of plants. Living things. All living things carry out life processes. Life processes are the things plants and animals do, which shows us that they are alive. There are seven life processes. Movement, respiration or breathing, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition or feeding. In order to make it a little easier for you guys to remember this, I've added a little rhyme. Miss Green. The, each letter stands for one of the words of the seven life processes. We'll discuss them each in detail in a minute. Movement as a life process. Mrs. Green tells us that the M stands for movement. All living things move. Animals move to get from place to place. Plants grow and, and turn towards the light. Respiration as a life process. Mrs. Green tells us that the R stands for respiration. All living things respire. Plants and animals use oxygen in the air to turn the food they need into energy. As a life process. Mrs. Green tells us that the S stands for sensitivity. All living things are sensitive. Every living thing can detect changes in their surroundings. as a life process. Mrs. Green tells us growth stands for the G. All living things grow. Animals grow from babies to adults. Seeds grow into plants. Reproduction as a life process. Mrs. Green tells us that the R stands for reproduction. All living things reproduce. Animals have young. Plants produce seeds from which more plants grow. Excretion as a life process. Mrs. Green tells us that the E stands for excretion. All living things excrete. Waste products are removed from the body and both plants and animals have to get rid of excess gas and water. Nutrition is a life process. 
Mrs. Green tells us that the N stands for nutrition. And all living things need nutrition. Food is eaten to provide energy to live. And green plants make their own food using sunlight. You are now going to use the knowledge you gained in the above slides to do an activity. I want you to open your textbooks on page 2. Activity 2. Look at living things. You'll have to go outside and find three living things. Write down their names in your workbook. I'm going to show you the example of the format I would like your work to be done in just a minute. Number two, look for pictures of living things in magazines. Question three, cut out three pictures of living things. Stick the pictures in your workbook and write down the names of the living things. Use this example as a guideline of how your work should look in the end. Firstly, we'll write the date, 26 January 2021. Underneath that, Unit 1, Living Things. And after, underneath that, Activity 2, Page 2. Only then you skip a line. Number 1, you name the three things that you went and got outside. Number 2, you're not going to number on, the, on your page because that's the part where you look through the magazines. And then number three, you paste your three pictures and write the names of the living thing next to it. I will upload a copy of the example onto D6 Communicator as well for you to refer to if you are unsure. Steps to follow for success, successful virtual schooling. Here you'll find eight steps towards successful virtual schooling. And last but not least, please follow us on these platforms. Goodbye.